All those five minutes, he, you know, it was when they were calling the cops. And they called the cops, there was like 20 sheriffs, helicopters. But, the but so we're talking about this guy named Benny Beauty from Houston, Texas. He's a makeup artist who's been teaching and doing workshops for, I don't know, for how long. And um, I've been seeing, or just recently I was tagged in a video of someone who wasn't getting their money back. The whole story basically was that this person is a disaster. He's a monster. And I just feel like people work so hard for their money. My name is Angeline. I was scanned by Benny Beauty back in March. I paid for a private one-on-one -on -one training of a total of two or no, $485. And still to this day, he has not refunded me. Okay, so I have paid $285 for a one-on-one -on -one class with Benny and he has yet to respond to any of my messages I've sent him. He posted this way back in July. It's now October and just nothing. He posted that um, he'll be in New Orleans October the 22nd. It is now 21st and he has not said anything about this class. I really feel bamboozled and it just, it's just not right. I, I even today, this is the 21st of October, reached out to him today to see if he can even refund me my money back. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. There's gonna be a lot of intense drama in this video. I wanna say a big thank you to Sin City MUA. If you want any further information on this story or on this topic, I'll put her link down below. She's the one spearheading this whole entire drama. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the video. Here we go. Rich Lux Hey guys, my name is Ellie and unfortunately I was scammed by Benny Beauty as well. Um, like many of us, I came across his Instagram because I thought he was really, really good. And he had mentioned he was coming to Jersey and he said his classes were originally 600 but were going to be 400. So I quickly messaged him. He was so nice, so quick to reply. I gave him my deposit through Cash App. He was insistent on Cash App. Cash App. And, um, you know, like a week prior to the event, he, um, the makeup classes, he called me or his assistant and she gave me all the details, the hotel we were going to be at, like all the details. So I was like, okay, this is legit. And a day before he's like, oh wait, actually, no, we had to cancel it because a lot of the girls are sick. And I'm like, okay, like whatever. So then he postponed it for end of July, then I had to reach out to him and be like, hey, is this still happening? Like, what's going on? And he was like, oh, um, no, I have to cancel it, but you're gonna get private classes with me in September. And I was like, okay, this is clearly not true. So I went on Yelp, I saw the horrible reviews, came across Sin City MUA's video, and I was just devastated. I was freaking out, cause that's a lot of money and I work hard for my money. So I messaged him, I was like, can I please just have my money back? He got super nasty, he called me a bad word in Spanish, he told me he would steal my money again. I have all the screenshots. Um, eventually, like I called him on the FaceTime on Instagram and he stuck the middle finger. He was mocking me with one of his friends. It was just really, really bad. And long story short, do not give him your money. But yeah, I really hope this video can help someone. And thank you so much Sin City MUA for, for letting me be part of this because as much as I want my money back, I want him to be stopped as well. I don't think it's fair. So yeah, thank you so much. And I hope this can help somebody. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Lupe. I am a makeup artist from San Fernando, California. I am another person who got scammed by Benny and his team.
position or in the dozens of other girls positions that he has put put them in um i don't want them to be scammed i don't want them to um, look at him as an educator i don't want them to pay him money and not receive a service so i found Benny beauty on instagram i believe he was like on my popular page or something um i found him i saw his work his work is amazing um i saw that he does classes so um if you don't know anything about me i'm a makeup artist 2019 was like my first real year as a freelancer um i just practiced makeup on myself before that and then i jumped into freelancing to do it as a profession um so i always i'm always looking for ways to educate myself to grow um and i so whenever i came across him and saw that he did classes in dallas i jumped on it um but then he posted another one which is march the 22nd and the 21st 21st 22nd and so i saw that and i was like oh yes let me get on this so i message him and i tell him you know let me in the class like how much is it like he was posting at the time a discount so a sale for his class which was originally 495 but i paid 300 um through cash app he told me paid through cash app first red flag um i paid him the money i got my spot um he tells you and he tells every other girl oh you secured your spot or you're locked in babe um oh we got you or you know he says that to every girl he also tells them i'm gonna call you what's a good time so i tell him you know i'm at work 3 30 when i'm off um 3 30 rolls around no call from him and i didn't think anything of it at the time i was like so yeah. before we get into the rest um the 14th and the 15th are the week weekend before my class i'm busy that weekend i've known that i've been busy for that weekend for for months i know that i have something to do that weekend but I see him posting Dallas as the 14th and 15th. He posts um, makeup tours where he has different cities. So he has like Chicago, San Francisco, Atlanta, um, New York, Miami, Las Vegas, all these places. And Dallas, he has the 14th and 15th. So whatever, I just see it and I'm like, oh, that's my class. I see it again and I'm like, wait a minute. The 14th and the 15th. I'm busy that weekend why would I sign up for a class if I know I was busy that weekend so I'm like wait a minute so then I go into my calendar and my calendar says I, I, I marked it in there whenever I signed up for the class that I use my calendars to mark everything and I put in there that the 21st and the 22nd was my class so then I reach out to him and I say hey um Dallas did you add another date um did you switch the date like you know what's going on because obviously my dates aren't adding up to the dates that he's advertising for so then he responds and says i added two extra dates so i'm like mm, makes sense okay he added an extra weekend so then he says um would you like to switch dates and i say no because obviously that doesn't work for me um next thing i know he tells me well your class is already full that's why i added another date yeah there's gonna be 30 people so here i am shocked like 30 people learning from one person so i'm like okay well i'll just keep the same date like i couldn't switch it so i was like i'll just keep the same date so i was like okay have a great day you know his little quick remark quick sassiness so i was like okay second red flag so then it's the week of march 14th um that was supposed to be his first weekend um it's that week and he texts me and he sends me all the info for the class and he puts on there march 14th the day the time location everything so i hit him back and i'm like you know that's not the weekend that i signed up for i didn't sign up for the 14th and the 15th so the week already passes um we're into week two which is the week of my class um it's monday and i don't hear anything from him on i text him thursday and i said hey i just wanted to confirm that we're having a class because it's already thursday the class is saturday haven't heard anything um he responds and says yes love um text me blah 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 and so um friday i don't hear anything um saturday it's a day of the class and i don't hear anything from him and so i text him mind you we're in this right now and we're not supposed to be having groups over 10. So I was already on edge, like, are we even allowed to have a class? And so then I messaged him and I said, hey, um, you know, 
are we still having class? Like, what's going on? Um, I don't get a response from him. This is already Saturday at like 10, 11 um, in the morning. So I take it upon myself to call the um, hotel that he gave me the address to for the class. I call that hotel and I'd say, you know, are you are you guys having a class? Because at this point, I already had the story built up in my head that he had a weekend one. Um, and that was his, that wasn't his original date. His original date was the date that he gave me the 21st and the 22nd. But then he switched it at the last minute and he was afraid that I was going to be like, no, I can't do that weekend and give me my money back. And so he didn't want to do that. So he just lied and said, oh, I'm doing two weekends. So um, I had a feeling like, okay, he only did one weekend. He's not doing weekend two, obviously. I fell through the plan. I'm not going to be able to be in a class now because I didn't go to the weekend that he wanted me to go to, obviously by him passively saying, you know, your class is full. That's him telling me like, get into this other class. And so I call, they say, no, we don't have any classes, you know? And so I'm already freaking out. I'm already like, what? And so um, I pack up all my stuff, pack up my kit, um, clean all my brushes, do everything I need to do, make sure that I'm pregnant. Um, I travel to Dallas, 30 minute drive for me. I get there, I walk inside. Um, mind you, the parking lot is empty. There's nobody parked, like it's empty. Um, I get inside and I tell them that I'm there for a makeup class. And of course they look at me like, we don't have any classes, ma'am. In that moment, I was in shock. Still like, okay, this is real. I really am getting stood up by this famous, insta-famous, whatever you, you wanna call it, guy. And so I'm there at the hotel looking like a fool. There's no class. So then I go home. Um, at this point, I am very upset. I'm very frustrated. I'm just still like confused. Um, he hasn't responded to me. He hasn't said anything. He hasn't reached out, nothing. And so then I didn't even think to look on Yelp. And on Yelp, there are so many reviews against this dude. It's insane. So then I go, um, what else do I do? Oh, I go on YouTube. Go on YouTube. I look up Benny Beauty and I look him up and I see girls' videos about how they got scammed. And so I'm just like, so then I go and I click on one of this girl's videos and she says that there's so many girls who have gotten scammed. She has like a four part video talking about it. Like she has this whole case against him about how he does this. In her um, description, she put a petition. Um, she's talking about this petition. I click on it. I, uh, and at this point, I'm going all over the place. Like I'm just like clicking everything, reading glimpses of stuff. Um, I click on the petition and it's this petition to Cash App, um, Zelle, Venmo, whatever. And it's saying dozens and dozens of girls have gotten scammed and they want to fight him for their money and they want someone to do something about it they want their refund they want him this and that you know they're, they're saying the exact same story i am at this point i started doing all this reading i'm laying in bed after i'm supposed to be at this class i'm laying in bed reading all this stuff i honestly felt sick like and i know what you're thinking like Madeline, how did this happen to you? How, how did you not see this? How did you not pick up on the red flags? Go to his page. He has 161,000 followers. Tell me someone that has a lot of followers, do you think you're gonna trust them? Yeah. Um, also this girl that I had uh, met in a different class, um, she she's also she's also a makeup artist in dallas um she posted that she went to his classes and whenever i saw that i was like oh my god like that's a tactic um he does sometimes have classes um he sometimes doesn't so you just never know what you're getting yourself into he does post that he has classes sometimes and he does but that's probably what 
95% of the time he has costas, the other 95% of the time it's fake. I don't know what the percentage, there's so many girls, there's so many classes every weekend, every week. All I know is that there's lots of girls who have gotten scammed and I'm one of them. So um, after I do all this research, um, I go FBI mode like any other girl and read all this. Um, I reach out to him, I just type up something formal, um, some, I wasn't being rude. Uh, obviously I want something back from him. I want my $300 back, so I'm not going to be rude to him. I'm very upset that he didn't contact me about canceling or that he probably didn't have the intention of having the class. But anyways, I reach out to him and I just say, you know, I want my refund. In his um, profile, he has what's called a refund policy, which is if he cancels, then he, he'll give you a refund. Um, so I, I saw that and I was like, I mean, it's at his discretion. He's his own boss. He can say what he wants to do or not. But I reached out to him and I told him, like, I want my $300 back. Um, I didn't mention that he didn't even hit me up or nothing. But I was just like, I just want my money back. I'm like, I don't want a problem with you. Um, at this point, I've already seen him slandering all these girls, calling them ugly, ugly names, being so nasty to them. I didn't want to get to that point with him. Um, I just, I didn't. I just wanted my money back. And so I told him, I don't want a problem, just give me my money back. No response. Um, I sent him a request um, for the $300. I obviously don't get it back right away. Um, like a day or two later, he says, oh, we'll pay you today with a little heart emoji. And I'm like, okay, well, I already sent you the request, so just fulfill it. And so um, he says, hey, we're going to send it again another day. And I'm like, okay. I see the request again. I've sent him now, what, like four requests and none of them have been fulfilled. So um, I've talked to a lot of different girls um, that have gotten scammed by him and they've just been so nice to me, so supportive, so informative on what I should do, what they did, what happened to them. Um, I also learned a lot about Benny what he truly stands for and the type of makeup artist that he is um and that he puts on this facade that he's this educator and all this and that but it's not he doesn't have a pretty heart at all his work may be good but there's something hurting him inside there's something wrong with him inside where he thinks it's okay to do this to innocent women all over america New York, San Francisco, Miami, Las Vegas, Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, Chicago, all these places. He thinks that it's okay to do that. Um, he makes a living for it. Um, he gets brought down. He gets called out. And he still continues to do it. And I learned that he's just, he's not it. He's not it at all, sis. So if you've made it this far, um, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for taking the time to listen to everything I had to say. Um, I hope that you report his account, that you share um, this post to your stories, to everyone. But so we're talking about this guy named Benny Beauty from Houston, Texas. He's a makeup artist who's been teaching and doing workshops for, I don't know, for how long. And um, I've been seeing, or just recently I was tagged in a video of someone who wasn't getting their money back. The whole story basically was that she showed up to the workshop the day of, um, and she got there and there was no workshop, nothing was happening. Um, other people showed up, nothing was happening. And basically like she, wasted her time and money but when i saw this yesterday he did this a while back at a place in miami that i was teaching at at a makeup school he did the same thing in miami he planned this whole workshop everybody showed up to the workshop and the only person that didn't show up was him the person that was teaching workshop and so i don't know guys like i don't like to step on anybody's toes i like to stay in my lane i feel like i've always stayed focused on what i'm doing and I feel like that's how I've been so successful. You know what I mean? Just minding my own business. And um, if you know, I literally came from nothing. And so um, I don't want anything, any little thing like this to mess up what I'm doing or distract me from what I'm doing and what I'm destined to do. This person is a disaster. He's a monster. And I just feel like people work so hard for their money. 
like anytime anybody buys a ticket to my workshops i am so happy like it makes me so happy that they want to come learn and just experience something like that and i'm so appreciative the fact that he's not doing the same is just so nasty to me like worships are not cheap like worships are 200 300 400 dollars and if people are paying that you should really respect that and if you can't show up to the workshop then say that you know what i mean like if you can't make it then don't not just go mia respond to message all the attendees give them their money back and reschedule if you want if you if you don't want to reschedule then don't like whatever it is you don't have to do you don't have to do anything workshops are how is he not sued or shut down guys i don't know like a lot of these the girls that have been that I've seen online, I don't know if they've done any kind of or taken any kind of legal action. But you guys, you guys have to. If you guys are doing, if you guys are being scammed like this, you guys have to take legal action. At least a police report. He hasn't shown up to a lot of workshops that I've known of, and not like canceled anything. The Miami situation, like people were caught. <laughs> this is just because I know like so much insight, you know behind the scenes um uh, people were calling like the number on his website and stuff like that and nobody would answer you know what i mean or people would hang up the phone if they were yeah it was it's just a mess and to be honest no shade no shade i don't think he's an amazing makeup artist and i don't think i'm amazing make i'm not i don't think that i'm the most amazing makeup artist myself but his style of makeup is it looks great on instagram you know what i mean what i teach in my workshops i teach makeup that is gonna that can be wearable that can be on TV, that can be photographed. My style of makeup is completely different from that. So not what you guys are paying for is to do that Instagram makeup. You guys shouldn't be paying for that, no shade. You guys should be paying for, you know, techniques that are really going to get you money in your pocket. That's really how I feel about it. And that's why I love doing my workshops because I'm able to really teach what I can do. I don't just sit in front of a camera or sit and do a model a day and just show it off on Instagram. I'm really in these streets doing celebrity work and on set and TV work and all kinds of shit. That's why I teach my workshops because I want people to be able to do that if they aspire to. So it's a whole completely different vibe. So if that's what you want to pay for, then pay for that. You know what I mean? But it's completely, it's up to you. The police can arrest him because he only takes under 500 from people. The police want investigate unless it's more than 900 this is just it really upsets me because he's still getting pr packages from like amazing brands i think like anastasia beverly hills norvina i know like lipstick nick follows him and stuff guys he does not deserve any like if he's doing people like this no matter if it's work your work can be bomb your work can be amazing your work can look amazing on instagram but if you're a person you do not need to be followed by any of these like amazing people and i really don't like putting anybody on blast because that's not my character and that's not my intention my intention is for you guys to to know what it is and not put your money in the wrong hands and it just makes it makes me so angry because at the end of the day like if someone has a bad experience you know trying to go to a workshop they're not going to want to come to my workshop because they're, they're going to be scared that they won't get their money back if I cancel or I might not show up. Like, that's whack. You, you, and I'm from Houston. We're from the same city. You're putting a bad name on us. You know, like, damn, we're from Houston. We're not supposed to be doing shit like that. And then, oh, and then you're Latino too. Ooh, that makes me even more mad. He turned off all his comments. Yeah, people were messaging me uh, last night saying that he turned off his comments. Yeah, because I'm sure people are upset and, you know, trying to get him to say something and he's not gonna say anything he's shook right now and to be honest you know what the crazy part is is that i saw that he was doing online classes like like a vert like a online thing right like live poppy come here and this was like yesterday that he announced it or the day before um or not announced it but he was supposed to go live last night his first tutorial on live and he didn't do it. He didn't show up to the fucking live. So people were waiting on the live trying to, you know, get the first live tutorial and it didn't happen. So the girl sent me the screenshot of the money that she paid to watch these Facebook lives. And he didn't even go on that last night. Like this is still happening like as we speak, guys. They keep, you know, the comments, you guys know who it is by the comments because everyone keeps saying his name. But... And stuff. And um, I was just like interested. I was even willing to fly out to Houston to go do a class.
class by him, but thank God, thank God, God told me no. And when I saw a post that he was coming to Las Vegas, I was like, oh, God, like, the stars are aligning. Like, my ass is there. Uh I paid him $385, okay, like, literally on cash, like, on Zelle within, like, seconds. He told me I was booked for a a one-on-one class in February in Las Vegas, and I was excited about it, you know? Uh I thought it was like, okay, I admire his work. It's something I don't do. Let's do this and stuff. Well, the week came of it, he did not respond. And I was like, okay, it's been like almost a month now. I need to know what kind of shit I need to bring. I need to know what I'm doing. I need to, I had missed Nevada. All right, boom. I had missed Nevada at the time being my model. She wow. wanted to be there. Yeah. You know, like I, I have a good presence here in Las Vegas. And so I was like, oh my God, like I'm going to do this right and stuff. And then all of a sudden, the night before, I noticed um, I got no word, nothing, nowhere to go, no kid, no nothing. So when I wrote his account, I got kind of like a bullshit message, kind of just saying, um, Benny's going to write you. And I was like, I didn't realize I wasn't fucking talking to Benny, but right. all right. And stuff. And so then, long story fucking short, he said that he got in a car accident and that he sprained his leg and that he wasn't able to make the Las Vegas class. And I was like... All right. I was really worried at first because, to be honest, I knew nothing bad of Benny at this point. Right. And so I was like, oh, I hope he's okay. You know, like, um, I totally understand it, you know. And they're like, well, we're going to reschedule. And I was like, well, to be honest, I took off a lot of time. I, I work in TV. And I was right. like, I took, I, work, um, I took off time for this, so I don't think I can make your rescheduled class. I would just like my, my refund. And they told me, okay, not a problem. And stuff, and he even told me how he liked my work, and he was like, "I'm surprised you want to take a class by me." Fuck, I should have listened right then and there, uh, <laughs> like for real. But um, there was so that's many annoying. Red well, huh? I said that's annoying. Um, I gave him a couple of weeks, and he told me he was doing the whole Las Vegas cancellation refunds, and that I was on a list, and so I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, and I was like, okay. You know, well, two weeks turned into three weeks, turned into, like, just ghosting me. And I was like, dude, Benny, like, I would really like my money. Like, I have two kids. Like, I work hard for it, you know. Um, but it's like, you shouldn't just... you shouldn't even have, have to say any of that to him. Like, your money is your money. If you cancel the workshop, give me my shit back. Exactly. I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. That's the key word is shouldn't have. But... I had to. So I finally said, you know what, Benny, I, I'm afraid I'm going to have to talk about this to my social media and I don't want to do this. And I'm going to have to because $400, almost $400 is a lot of fucking money to me, you know? Right. And so he literally, this is what he wrote back. Good luck, son. Or good luck with that. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, good luck with that? So that's what I did. I got, <laughs> I opened up that uh, message on my phone on camera and I got really drunk and I just talked about it and thank God within nine hours I uploaded that video I edited it that night uploaded uh-huh. it and in nine hours he refunded me my, that is so he refunded crazy. me my money within not even a like it was so surprising how easy it was for him but it took weeks and it took me to do like this exposing video and then when I found out when I did that video I did all this research and I was blown away how many women and men out there in all different avenues from online classes to, um, you know, classes coming to their city to, you know, like classes in Houston to classes or um, he was selling glitters and he wasn't shipping them. Yeah. I remember remember that too. He would fucking scam you, you know? And it's just like, it's, I was like floored and I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm on a mission. I'm not going to stop like talking about this until he stop- until Instagram stops him. Because at first I didn't want, I didn't want him to be canceled at first because the only way I could think of is if these girls need their money back, how is he supposed to make money? You right. know what I mean? Like the only way he can make money is by doing these so these classes are, are something. So I was like, please just make this wrong or right. Please just start showing up. Please just start paying them. Please. No joke. It took nine months and he didn't fucking do shit. You know what's, cra- like, you know what's crazy? Like, people used to tell me that he used to have, like, he used to send people from his studio to my workshop to, to see what I was teaching. 
when I was doing my workshops. Yeah. So he was like a looky-loo? Yeah, exactly. Which I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, yes, they're still buying a ticket. I don't care. Like, they can come learn. I don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, they'll probably come learn something better than what they, but, um, right. um, yeah, he's been, like, really, like, catty and shady for years. Um, I've heard about the glitters as well that he, that people weren't, um, receiving their orders after placing their orders and paying for them. Um. Like, I mean, he's scamming chicks for, like, $43. Like, are you, come on, are you serious? Yeah, but all that, all that shit adds up, and... I'm almost at $100,000, boom. So, it was hard for me to keep up, so now I have, like, a spreadsheet, how much, what cities, if they've gotten a part, some of them have gotten partial refunds and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm only at, where am I at? I'm at 63 people and I'm almost at a hundred grand. You know wow. what I mean? Like it's, it's bananas. And so I feel like I, it just needs to stop because he won't unless he goes to jail, Dr. Phil, <laughs> something. And that's what makes me so mad because the same people that want to learn from him want to learn from me. You know what I mean? And it just the whole thing up. Cause for me, it's yeah. not really about the money. It's like, if you want to, I've done, I've taught classes for free. If you don't have the money to come to my workshop and you really want to come, we're going to make it happen. You know what I mean? Because it's not about yeah. that. It's about really giving someone an experience and someone to look forward to. You know what I mean? And the fact yeah. that he's fucking not showing up to these workshops when people spend their hard-earned money to come and plan out and take time off and come to the shit. And it's just, it's just annoying. It's just, it's just bad business. It's not okay. You know what I mean? And that's no. what... That's why I'm so upset. I'm so glad. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Like, I do. And I want to thank Maddie. If she's still watching this, man, I'm hot. I'm turning pink, you guys. Um, The fireball. <laughs> um, I want to thank her. She was just recently scammed by Benny, and she did an amazing video just spilling her guts out. And just telling and you know, story. And you know what? I, I wish I would have seen your videos in the past because I would have posted them too. Let's not only focus on this one person, but guys, like, do your research when it comes to who you really want to learn from and who you're investing your money into. Before you send them your money, make sure that these classes are legit, that they don't have bad reviews. You can easily Google somebody and all their shit will pop up. To this day, you guys, she doesn't have her money back from Benny. All those five minutes, he, you know, it was when they were calling the cops. And they called the cops. There was like 20 sheriffs, helicopters. But the girl was a bitch. The girl was a bitch. She's like, you guys are going to get arrested. You guys are not welcome here. Um, you know, next time you guys come, you guys are going to get arrested. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. You know, but we tried. And I think this is what he needed. That, who was telling her it's not worth it, was the owner of the of the studio that Benny was like holding his class at. She, cause they reached out to her and they were like, hey, we just wanna let you know all the stuff. And she was just like, don't come down here. It's not worth it. Well, of course she doesn't want anything on her property, but you're you're holding a class where it's literally, it's like, it's like slapping us all in the face because these girls that gave him money, he's making more money and he's not giving any of it back to the girls that he scammed. To see? that you can't be with anybody's money. Like some people take their money really serious. We, like I told him, I work for my shit. I earn my shit, you know, to you it's nothing because you do this all day, every day. You scam people. Some people, you know, they don't speak up. They don't say anything, you know, but when I seen like how many victims, you know, I'm like, I'm a victim, but I'm gonna take action. So my friend Yvette, you know, she was able to, she wasn't gonna be able to go today. She wasn't, she wasn't gonna be able to come today because she was at with her kids for spring break. She's like, I'll go tomorrow. And they said, you know what? No, I'm going, let's go. You know, I'm looking at my, my, my dad and my brother and my husband and they're down to go with us. But that mother that I was calling his assistant Jade, he was calling the owner. And that's when all the cops pulled up. And then the owner's like, you guys need to get out. You guys are trespassing. You guys shouldn't be in here. Well, the student told us to go back there. Benny was back there with his dirty ass makeup. Like, and I, like I told him, I'm like, it's sad. You know, we admire you. You know, I admire your techniques. And I'm like, it's, and then he, he told us, once I pay you, forget about me. Forget that I exist. Forget about me. Like, we never met. Like, mother Pero pincha puto. Oh, and then the cop 
took my information down, right? But then my husband called me and he's like, but she's trying to tell you to take him to court, but we don't even have his legit information. I'm like, you know what, you're right. So I'm like, you know what? I was already in my car. I'm like, you know what? Let me go see if they're still there. The cops. And yeah, but the girl was a bitch. The guy, the guy was like, oh, come, you know, because I can't hear you. Can't, you know, like, come. And I'm like, well, I need his information. But you paid him. I'm like, that doesn't mean it's his legit name or information. So he came and gave me his business information. I'm like, his business is not even active. It's not, his business is not active. BB, BBA or BB something. I'm like, they don't even, can't even track down his business. He said, well, you know, like he like he made it seem like, you know, like, you know, like you're fucked, like, you know, you lost the money. I'm like, I know I lost my money. I knew I wasn't going to get it back. You know, I already, but I'm like, someone had to put him, you know, someone had to put him on his place. Someone had to put him in his place because it's not just me and Yvette. It's a lot of girls from all over the world. The guy cops, they were like, you know, they were understandable. They're like, you know, like, you should have, you guys should have called us. I'm like, I called East LA Police Department and they told me, we'll meet you there. Like, they gave me the green light to come. I'm like, they told me, you can, you know, we'll meet you there if you want us, you know, to go talk to this guy. So we came, I came, you know. He, he told us five minutes we waited the guys were just you know backing up you know they had our back like we came alone he's crazy i've seen messages that from other girls that he talks crazy to them like he talks rude like no respect at all you know and i was quiet you know i was posting about him but i was quiet i was quiet until finally someone told me like he was going to be there like hey you know go try to get your money he's going to be there you know, without we doing research, it came to me. And I'm grateful for that person that told me he was going to be here. I didn't get my money back. But para que mire que las viejas de Los Angeles no se rajan. You know, but, you know you're going to f*** the wrong person with the wrong person at the wrong time. And, you know, I know he was shitting bricks. He was scared of us. Hey, yeah. Exclusive.